type of champion is Keith Thurman. I'm the kind of champion like Ali. You put me back in the ring and I'm going to ride it back to the top. You know, uh, that's what this is all about. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and enjoy the show. What's up, fight fans? Once again, thank you for taking the time to tune into the channel. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. This is another video statistical breakdown. This one is going to be much more relevant than the one we did yesterday on Bud Crawford, only because we actually have a fight coming up. The end of March, March 30th, in Las Vegas, Nevada, we got a clash between Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman. If you've been following the page, if you've been in our Boxing News Today boxing group on Facebook, you would know the intentions behind these new statistics. Guys, you have to admit, whenever we start talking about our favorite fighters, potential matchups, or even upcoming fights, all anyone talks about is their win-loss record, will they get knocked out, do they have power? With that in mind, it led me to do some research and I wanted to figure out another healthy way to talk about our favorite fighters in our favorite upcoming fights. What I've done here is come up with a statistic I call strength of schedule. And I'm going to go over this again until you guys get comfortable with the stat. This is only my second video explaining the strength of schedule statistic. And I'm going to go over it today for Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman. So what I've done, guys, is I've taken Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman's collective accumulative record of their opponents. We know Tim has... 25 career fights that's including Keith Thurman so going into Keith's fight he has 24 career fights for the sake of statistics though Keith is included so it's 25 fights for Tim and Keith has 32 31 without Tim but 32 including Tim the reason why that's important is we go to Tim's very first fight all the way up to Keith Thurman and we tally his opponent's win-loss record now when Tim fought his first opponent that win-loss record is counted what the record was on fight night. So we've tallied all of that up. We've done the same thing with Keith Thurman. Keith's very first fight up until the night he fights Tim on March 30th, we've tallied those up. Once we've gotten those numbers, we've then done a statistical equation. And then we've gotten a percentage. And that percentage is the fighter's win-loss ratio. Basically, the strength of their schedule. American football does this. The NBA does this. Think about when the NFL playoffs are approaching and two teams are tied. What they'll then do is if there's no more games left, they'll go and measure their strength of schedule based on win-loss percentage. That's what this is. It was pretty fascinating to think that I couldn't find anywhere, any source online that is measuring this. So my page here, our Facebook group is the first of its kind. Tim Zhu's strength of schedule, 426 wins and 88 losses. That gives him an 83% win-loss ratio. What we've also done was add up all of his opponent's knockouts. So of those 426 wins, we've added up those knockouts, and Tim Zhu's opponent's knockout to win ratio is 62%. So over time, what we're going to do is the more we do of these, we're going to compare these ratios. Keith Thurman, from his first fight up until Tim Zhu, 664 wins, 206 losses. His career strength of schedule, his resume is 76% win-loss ratio. He has an opponent's knockout to win ratio of 68%. So if you're arguing who's going to win this fight... Maybe one day we'll be able to gamble or use this statistic, the strength of st schedule stat, to weigh in on who should be the favorite. At this time in their careers, Zoo has an 83% strength of schedule, and Thurman has a 76% strength of schedule. We'll only understand years down the road how relevant these statistics are. If you want me to do any of your favorite fighters' stats, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you want me to pair fighters up, I'll do the same. Whatever it is, if you've had any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I appreciate you. And that's what March 30th is all about. It's just proving to the world that Keith Thurman was, is, and will be forever and ever one of the greatest fighters in the sport.